path it is a simple path that contain every edge of the graph g so what do you mean by simple path means we need to find a path with no repetition of the edges so no repeated edges in a path is called as a simple path and if you find a path that contain every edge exactly once then that path is called as an euler path there is another term that is a euler circuit so we need to find a simple circuit means no repetition in the edges and that contain every edge of a graph then that simple circuit is called as an euler circuit so what is the difference between these two terms in these two terms we need to cover each and every edge but if a path has a different end point then it is categorized as a euler path but if the end points are same then that path is converted into the circuit so now we are going to find whether these three graphs has euler path or euler circuit or a both so there is a trick for that the trick is can you reconstruct this graph without lifting pen and if you do that it means it has either euler circuit or euler path so it means if the end points are same when you are reconstructing this graph then that path is called as an euler circuit and if the end points are different while reconstructing the graphs so it means it has euler path so let's try to reconstruct this one so over here if i started from the vertex a then a to b b to e then e to d d to c c to e and e to a so we have started from the vertex a and ends at a so it means this graph has euler circuit rather than a euler path so what is the euler circuit in this case so we have started from a a vertex move to the b then e then d c e a so end points are same due to this it is categorized as a euler circuit so definitely it will not have a euler path now what about the graph g2 can you find a euler circuit or a euler path let's try it let's suppose we are starting from the vertex e e to a a to b let's move to the vertex e b c e now if you are going back to the b it means there is a repetition of this edges so it means we cannot move to the vertex e from c so let's reconstruct this one so starting from the e then b and then vertex to the d d to c c to b now the point is how to cover these two edges can you do by any other way so you can check it you will not get a euler path in euler circuit in this case so there does not exist any euler path or euler circuit in a g2 graph now for the g3 can you reconstruct this one without lifting pen let's try it let's start from the vertex d so now d to b then a c b e d and to c so yes it there exists a path that cover each and every edge and in this case the starting and the end points are different so it means it has a euler path what was the euler path in this case we have started from the vertex d then move to the vertex b then a c b e d c so this graph has euler path but you can check it there does not exist any euler circuit in this case even there is a necessary and sufficient condition for the euler circuit and the euler path so the first statement is if the graph is connected and it is a multi graph with at least two vertices then that graph has euler circuit if when or only if each of its vertices has even degree it means if the degree of each vertex in a graph is even then definitely it has a euler circuit even the reverse result is true if the graph has euler circuit so definitely in that case degree of each vertex is even we can also reread it as 
if the degree of any vertex is not even then definitely graph does not have Euler circuit so the next result is a connected multigraph has Euler path but not an Euler circuit if and only if exactly two vertices are there in a graph that has odd degree means if a graph has only two vertices with odd degree only two vertices then definitely the graph has Euler path but it cannot have Euler circuit we can also read this statement as if a graph has more than two vertices of a odd degree then the graph does not have Euler path or we can say that if the degree of each vertex is even there does not exist any vertex of a odd degree definitely the graph does not have Euler path so the conclusion is if a degree of each vertex is even so it has Euler circuit and if there exist two vertices of odd degree then definitely it has a Euler path so due to these two results we can say that a graph cannot have both Euler path and Euler circuit. So either the graph has an Euler path or Euler circuit or maybe the graph does not have both Euler circuit as well as an Euler path. But there does not exist any graph that contain Euler path as well as an Euler circuit. Let's try to identify the, whether these graphs has an Euler path or an Euler circuit. So for very first we will calculate the degree of each vertex for the graph G1. So degree of a vertex A is 2. Degree of this vertex is 3 because the 3 edges are incident with it. So due to the odd degree vertex definitely this graph does not have Euler circuit. Because for the Euler circuit we know that degree of each vertex must be a even. So if there exists any vertex of odd degree so Euler circuit is not there for the C vertex what is the degree for the C vertex that is 2 and degree of a D vertex is 3 so there exist exactly two vertices of a odd degree so definitely graph has an Euler path so G1 has Euler path now G2 what is the degree of vertex A that is 2 degree for the vertex G 4 because 4 edges are incident with it Degree of F vertex is 4, degree of E vertex is 2, degree of D vertex is 3. So due to the or degree vertex, definitely graph G2 has no Euler circuit. Now what about C vertex? So degree of this vertex is 4 and the degree of vertex B is 3. So exactly two vertices are there with the or degree. So definitely graph has an Euler path. Now for the graph 3, so degree of this vertex is 2, degree of this vertex is 2 and in this case 4 edges are incident with the vertex C, so its degree is 4, degree of E vertex is 2, degree of D vertex is 2. So degree of each vertex is even, therefore G3 has an Euler circuit. So there is a historical problem named as 7 bridges of Konigsberg. The problem says that there are seven bridges connecting four lands around the cities of Konigsberg in a pusha. Was there any way to start from any of the land and go through each of bridges only once? So there are seven bridges over here. So we need to cross each and every bridge exactly once. Can you do that? So first we will model this problem into the graph. So we will Consider the cities as the vertices. A first city is A, second city is C, and the third city is B, and the fourth city is D. Now, between the city A and C, there are two bridges, so we will draw the bridges like in the edges. Between A and B, there are two bridges, so we will construct two edges between A and B. Now, there is a one bridge between a city A and D. So there will be a one edge between a vertex A and D. Between C and D, one edge. Between B and D, one edge. Now we will rephrase this problem. 
so rather than crossing each and every bridge in this case we will read that we need to cover each and every edge exactly once can you do that so when we are saying that we need to cover each and every edge exactly once means we need to find the Euler path let's try to find the degree of these vortices so degree of a vortex B is 3 so degree of this vortex is 5 degree of the vortex C is 3 and the degree of vortex D is 3 so degree of each vortex is odd now for the Euler path we just need a two vortices of odd degree so but in this case there exist more than two vortices of odd degree so it means there does not exist Euler path so if there does not exist any Euler path in this case means for this problem we can say that we cannot cross each and every edge exactly once question of the day can someone cross all the bridges shown in this map exactly once and return to the starting point comment below